has continued intensification today and is now, by our estimates, a Category 5 on the Saffir Simpson scale, currently located at 19.3 degrees south, 160 degrees east, as of 3 a.m. New Caledonia time this March the 6th. Currently, by our estimates, Neuron has winds of 165 miles per hour or 265 kilometers per hour, a pressure of 913 millibars, moving east-southeast at 28 miles per hour, and a CDPS stage rating of 8. Here's a breakdown on that. Wind speed is major to extreme, storm size is significant to major, rainfall potential is just below major, and the overall threat to land is just below major. A stage 8 means that catastrophic damage is possible wherever the storm makes landfall. Here are the current wind fields of Cyclone Neuron. It is quite large of a storm with 225 nautical mile winds to the northeast, 175 nautical miles to the southeast, 125 nautical miles to the southwest, and 215 nautical miles to the northwest. Here's the current distances in Alice Napu, 407 miles, Tarbeville, 396, Quaco, 365, Kumak, 348, and Pum, 330 miles. We have a cyclone warning in effect for New Caledonia, as you'd expect, as Cyclone Neuron approaches the area. Here's the current intensity of Cyclone Neuron. Here at 413, we are running with 165 miles per hour. The JTWC, RAM, and AMSU are at 160. SATCON is at 155 and ADT is all the way down at 140 miles per hour. Here's our latest forecast cone made by our very own Walter Yen, showing an intensity of 165 miles per hour and 913 millibars. You can see the forecast there expecting it to weaken down to 145 miles per hour before making that landfall in New Caledonia. Uh, this is going to be a very strong system when it gets to New Caledonia. Uh, so if you are in the cyclone warning, please be preparing uh, because your time is running out. After New Caledonia, we expect rapid weakening to take place and it turns extra tropical in about three days. Here's the current sea surface temperature. It's four cyclone you're on. As you can see here, uh, very warm right now up to New Caledonia. Uh, they really start to drop off only after New Caledonia, after its landfall, and that's why we expect it to start to th rapidly, it's rapid weakening uh, after it makes landfall in New Caledonia. Here's the current HWRF wind swath. You can see keeping the main bulk of the winds offshore. Uh, at the time, we do expect a landfall, so we would likely see the strongest winds come onshore into New Caledonia. And rainfall, there you can see heavy rainfall for New Caledonia. Here's the current multi-model diagnostic comparison. You can see most models will be peaking this storm out about now uh, before it starts its rapid weakening pace. Wind shear, you can see it's rising right now. We expect it to continue going up and that is a very good sign to see. We can see the tracks keeping it still south of New Caledonia. Let's hope for that kind of track. We don't want a landfall. Sea surface temperature is staying pretty warm for now. We'll start dropping off in mid-level mid relative humidity. is dropping down right now. Here's the current satellite imagery, infrared. You can see very good looking. It's got a really nice eye on there uh, moving toward New Caledonia at this time. Uh, very high cloud top as well, I will say. Very good looking storm for this area and uh, certainly hope that it weakens as it gets closer to New Caledonia. Here's the current water vapor. You can see very moist where those uh, blows of convection have been. Uh, but this is a category five cyclone at this time heading for New Caledonia. Stay tuned to 413 for not only more updates on uh, Neuron, but other tropical threats.